Imagine a life without electronic devices. Seems impossible, right? Electronic devices have become integral to our daily life and electronic industry is under constant pressure for making convenient devices, transforming big computers to smaller, smarter technology like this mini computer on our wrist. But how small can we go? With our current materials, they lose their property as they get smaller. Thus, we are reaching the size limit of the smaller circuits. What's the solution? Like poets use letters to build words, chemists use atoms to build molecules. Molecules are the smallest stable structure that can facilitate flow of current or flow of electrons through them. Thus, in molecular electronic research, scientists like me study molecules to harness these electronic features. But the flow of electrons in these little systems are different. Let me take you to the tiny town of molecules which operate in a level smaller than nanotechnology in the quantum realm. Molecules have little energy levels where they house their electrons. These levels can also act as a bridge for electrons to pass through. When these levels are properly aligned, electron can easily pass. When they are not aligned, electron have to take a bumpy road. Electrons are like humans. They prefer to get pair up. And that's what happens in normal molecules. But in my project, I study some special ones that possess an odd electron that can stay single. These are called radicals. This additional electron occupies a level higher up, aligning the bridge, enhancing conductance. But most of these radicals are unstable. Whenever they find a perfect partner, the electrons pair up and they become normal molecule again. This instability has made them difficult to study and most of their properties are unexplored. But in my research, I have found that there are completely stable radicals whose single electron is happy being single. I have created them in our synthetic lab, just like cooking. You add all the ingredients, heat it up and bam, you have the molecular dish. I measure the conductance of my synthetic radicals. You must be thinking, is it possible to measure something that small? Yes, it is. Using the powerful scanning tunneling microscope, which has two gold electrodes in a positive and negative potential, I can actually touch a molecule, lift it and suspend to form a mini circuit and measure the single molecular conductance. I have found that my radical child is more conductive than normal molecules by an order of conductance. Hence, my PhD has opened up ways to explore radicals as novel conductive material for molecular electronics. My future work will study different types of radicals and work out ways to the tame the single electron for next generation electronics. See, sometimes being single could change the world. Thank you.